just can't breathe. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Hello and welcome to day six of my 31 days of Halloween. I start this look off by priming my eyes with the P. Louise base and blending it out with a beauty sponge. I then go into the Pro Fusion Smoky palette and use the shade Graphite and blend this into my crease and my lid. With the leftover shadow on that brush, I blend a little bit into my bottom lash line as well. Going into that black eyeshadow in that palette called Raven, I blend that on the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye. And like I did earlier with the leftover shadow on that brush I blend it into the bottom lash line. To create a spotlight eye I go into my Inkblot Pure Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade 117 and apply this in the centre of my lid and also my bottom lash line. For my brows I use a black face paint to fill them in. I also use a grey face paint just to paint some little hairs in there to make them look a bit bushy. And now it is time to paint the jigsaw on my face. So I use the Snazaroo Light Beige Face Paint to do this and this look is actually Actually a recreation of the escape room movie poster I'll put it up on the screen so you can see so for this jigsaw I started off by just painting the grid of it on my face and then I went in to paint the actual puzzle pieces I also use an earbud as well to help get rid of the lines that I don't need anymore once I've finished drawing the jigsaw and I'm happy with it I start to paint the pieces that are going to be the skull white with a white face paint With the black eyeshadow, I start to create the details of the skull. So I start off by doing the eye socket and then I move on to creating some shadows on the other pieces. So the pieces that are on my forehead, I don't need to create any detail work in there because the forehead is just one big bit of bone. So I just create some shading around the outside of the whole of the jigsaw so it looks like that my skin is in front of it if that makes any sense now I move on to the pieces that are around my jawline so I'll be painting in teeth and my jawbone and things like that weirdly this look was one of the hardest looks I think I've ever done I went into this really not thinking that it would be but for some reason I just couldn't get my head around where to place the jaw and the teeth and I don't, I don't know, it was just really trippy for me. I then added some highlights to the jigsaw pieces around where the holes are, just to kind of emphasize the 3D aspect in this area. So I use a white face paint to do this. Then apply some black eyeliner to my waterline and apply these lashes. These are by London Copyright and they're in the style Soho. Then apply a black lipstick. This is by Barry M and it is called a Freak Show. And then I put my wig on and we are done. If you like this look make sure to press the like button down below and if you're interested in some more Halloween inspired makeup make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm doing 31 days of Halloween and I'm also doing it over on my Instagram so you can follow me on there as well my name is at brookdellis underscore all my social medias are linked in the description box down below as well as some discount codes for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'll take you, 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 I'll take